Listen, today we're going to be talking about, well, I just want to show you something. I want to show you a few different colors, okay? I want you to look right here. Well, make sure you get this shot nice and tight, okay? I want you to see this color. Okay, this is like a yellow, uh, maybe like a deep, deep yellow. This one's a little lighter. You know, this yellow goes a little bit more to the, to the brown spectrum than, than yellow, perhaps, okay? These are all Naples yellow. Yeah. These are all artist brand paints, so there, there's no cheap stuff here, okay? These are three different brands. They all say this is what Naples yellow looks like. What? This, this color and this color, both under the label olive green. Well, how am I supposed to learn? Who's gonna love me? How is it possible? This is a problem. This is an artist problem. And if it isn't one, I'm making it one. Why don't my colors match? So the first thing I realized is that, okay, let's take your raw or burnt sienna. Those were based on the dirt in sienna. Now I've actually been to sienna, or was it Vienna? Which, which is in Italy? Maybe I just ate a hot dog. I'm pretty sure that across the city of sienna, it wasn't even the same color because it's natural, it's imperfect, and it's perfect because it's imperfect. So I thought, okay, it's probably because of geographical location. You had the paint color there, then these different paint companies made different formulas, each a little different, and then I thought to myself, well, wait a second, some colors are a single pigment color. I need to do some research and I needed help. Boy, do I need help. I called my buddy. Yeah, I do have one. I called my friend Marcello, who uh, owns Da Vinci Paint out in California, because I could not find the answer. I wanted to know, why don't my paint colors match? He really had a very easy, simple answer. He says, when you buy pigments, you get a bunch of manufacturers. There's not just one distributor of, of pigment, and each one of them will say, okay, here are our Naples yellow pigments. And then he's got to pick. If there's a bunch of different distributors, a bunch of different manufacturers, a bunch of different options per each one, it's, it's even less likely that people are going to choose the same one. This answer kind of further confused me. I was like, okay, so what you're telling me is there's no consistency, there's no standard. And he said, yeah, it really doesn't matter. What? It has to do with preference. And he put it in layman's terms for me. It's the same as like cooking. You like chocolate chip cookies? Okay, she does. Some bakers like to use brown sugar instead of white sugar. Some people like to add nuts to their chocolate chip cookies. It's literally the same thing with these recipes that go into them. As an artist, you get to make kind of an executive decision. What do you think looks the best? They're all gonna work the same. Yeah, you might get some slight variations, but they're all gonna work. These are all artist paints. So there's the preference of the manufacturer, the preference of the, uh, of the paint, the preference of the artist, and these are all reasons that there's some inconsistencies. The other thing that Marcello told me, the art industry is really tiny, okay? We really don't have that much say over anything. When it comes to buying pigments, it's not the art industry that dictates the availability. It's like the bigger businesses, like house paints and stuff. If you, you know, find that there's less options, it's because there's less demand in the bigger industries out there. I had another question for him. I said, is this always the case? Like if I go and I start looking through all these colors, am I gonna find that each one's gonna drive me nuts? He said to me, certain colors are more likely to be consistent. So your cadmiums, cobalt blue, those colors are going to be most likely across brands, similar looking. You won't run into this issue. On the other end of that spectrum, your Siennas, your Umbers, um, your Phalos, he said they will vary widely. There's a lot of pigment out there that you can get your hands on, but at the end of the day, it's up to you. He said, I encourage people to try different brands because you will find that you like one over the other. It's all about you finding your own voice and your own opinion because that confidence will carry through in your art. So that's why your paint colors don't match. Find your paint colors, find what makes you happy, find me on the Instagram. That's right, I'm finally saying it the way I say it in front of my team here. At Mike Not Jerry. See more behind the scenes, whatever the hell else is on my mind. Can I say that? I guess I just did. What are you gonna do? Also check out our new Frequently Asked Artist Question videos. These are also gonna be uh, a new line of videos we're doing where it's not, I don't know, like not everything's a problem. Some things are just a question. Do you have a problem with it? Get out. She didn't have a problem with it. Feel free to ask some questions and I will maybe answer them. Dialogue, keep the dialogue going. <laughs> oh, and scene. Did I make the hot dog joke?